And now I want to mention that sleep-related eating disorder can be induced by various psychotropic medications. There's a long list now, a growing list, of medications that can induce secondary sleep-related eating disorder, including olanzapine, risperidone, catiapine, aripiprazole, bertazapine, and even a rare case of clonazepam. Since clonazepam is on the list of medications to treat idiopathic sleep-related eating disorder, but it's really down the list. I know that most psychiatrists are aware that mirtazapine can cause weight gain, and they need to be aware that one of the possible mechanisms for the weight gain induced by mirtazapine is via the mechanism of mirtazapine-induced sleep-related eating disorder. So you need to talk to the patient, have them talk to the bed partner or roommate about any type of complex sleep behaviors during the night as the possible cause for the weight gain associated with mirtazapine. There is a related condition called night eating syndrome that actually is related in terms of abnormal eating in the evening or at night, but these patients are awake and they know what they're doing. They just cannot control their eating. And that's very different from sleep-related eating disorder where the patient is asleep with partial or complete amnesia. So with night eating syndrome, there is inappropriate excessive eating in the evening either before falling asleep, in other words, between dinner and bedtime, or after an awakening during sleep, a full awakening, being fully oriented, aware of what you're doing, and then you have the urge to eat. Very different sleep-related eating disorder where the person is not aware of what he or she is doing. So with night eating syndrome, certainly various psychotropic medications such as trazodone or catiapine can induce wakeful eating with weight gain before going to sleep. But sleep-related eating disorder is a condition that occurs after someone has fallen asleep either idiopathically or associated with zolpidem or other hypnotic medication. I will now address the issue of medication-induced sleepwalking. Helen Stallman from Australia and her colleagues published an article in Sleep Medicine Reviews 2018 entitled Medication-Induced Sleepwalking, a Systematic Review. They did a very extensive database search using the keyword sleepwalking and somnambulism. 72 publications met the inclusion criteria. The results show that there were primarily four classes of medications that induce sleepwalking. First of all, benzodiazepine receptor agonists and other GABA modulators, with zolpidem being identified in 26 studies and other drugs in 10 studies. Second, serotonergic antidepressants and also bupropion. Third, older generation antipsychotics. And fourth, beta blockers. And they identified four cases of sleep-related driving with Zolpidem. And my key points here are that there's a broad array of atypical antipsychotics that have been reported to induce secondary sleep-related eating disorder. Also, the antidepressant mirtazapine has also been reported to induce secondary sleep-related eating disorder. Sedative hypnotic medications can induce various non-REM sleep parasomnias including sleepwalking, sleep-related eating, and sleep driving. Also, zolpidem is the most commonly reported hypnotic medication to induce non-REM parasomnias, which I will elaborate on further during my talk.